Of all things to drop, I dropped a bag of sugar. Of all things to drop, I dropped a bag of sugar. What, 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 what? Don't want to get sugar. On a customer's TV. Right. We've got a bit of an old one. We have old and heavy. Now, when I say old, it's not a CRT or a big back thing. It's one of these. Look what we got. Anyone that's worked in the electronics industry, sorry, I just need to get this camera sorted. It's going to bug me. Oh, right, I'm looking at the wrong camera. That's fine. Sorry. Is that pretty central? It was, and then I shifted it. I still think these are very good TVs. It's a Hitachi. Full HD. Don't know if you can see that. Full HD. Right, I'm going to switch the light off and then plug it in. We'll see what it does. It's a Hitachi LCD. TV. Um, I don't know if you can see. There is just there. So no, you can't see. Just there, there is a standby light, which seems to be pretty pointless because it ain't coming on. I'm sure these had switches. Bear with. Yeah, there. Now have we got a light. Yeah, we've got red light, look. You cannot see. We've got a blue light. It's going to come on. Now it goes back to red. We try that again. Turn it on. It goes blue. Turns red. I thought on, on screen then I thought I saw a flicker. Did I see a flicker? Let's have a look. The screen flicker? Yes. Hmm. These have got a nice picture, these have got nice sound. Yes, they're old, they're LCD, they're a bit on the heavy side. They were expensive when they came out. Your local friendly catalogue store would have sold these for just under a thousand pounds when they first came out. Now, if you can, if you think what you can get for a thousand pounds today, TV wise, but this was exactly the same at the time, this was top of the range. I am going back a bit, but. Um, I'm switching my main lights back on now. Bing. It's not coming on. It could be capacitors on the power board. Um, more than likely it is. But it could also be a fault on the main board. It could be a diode on the um, power board. But there's only one way to find out. And that's to take it to bits. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn it over and take the back off. So bear with. Just in case you wanted to know the model number, it's an L42CO4U. L42, so 42 inch, CO4U. Now, even though this is an old TV,
it's um sorry i just smacked the microphone can't believe there are no screws around the scart area on this strange It is a Vestel, even though it's badged Hitachi. Just going to get the power lead out of the way. Oh, and it's dusty. Wow, would you look at that? Have a look at that. That is... some proper dust actually that's not all dust is it because I'm not a smoker but I've seen this before and that is that's ghastly isn't it that is ghastly Hmm. Well, it's quite late at night here at the moment. Other and it's. Sorry, I was just saying before I was rudely interrupted. Normally, I would take it outside and give it a good dusting, but. It's raining outside. And as it's a customer's TV, I'd better not. Uh, but I'm not going to get all this over my workshop floor. If it was just dust, that would be fine. But the fact that that's 90% nicotine, I don't want it on my floor. I'm a non-smoker, but I'm not, I'm not a judgmental non-smoker. But obviously, when it comes to being in a tight space like a little workshop... Um... I don't want the dust all over here, thank you very much. Anyway, I was expecting to see some blown caps. In fact, I was expecting to see that one, which is normally a 16 volt, uh, 2700 microfarad, I think. No. Oop. It's a uh, 2200 microfarad. So I was expecting to see that one blown. Technically, at the moment, I can only see that one, and maybe that one. They're the only ones I can see. They're going to be, that's going to be a 1016. I'm doing this from memory. That's going to be a 6. A 680, 16, maybe. Well, this won't buy the baby a new blanket. Screw missing. That's definitely been replaced before, so someone's been in and lost a screw. I have shorted out the main filter cap, by the way, so I can touch this. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it is just that. What is just that? Is that a 1500? Don't be a 1500 because... No, it's a 1035.
think I should put my gloves on. I think I should put some, maybe a nuclear fallout suit on. Just warming up the solder a sucker. Had a bit of a tidy up this week. I found two pairs of glasses that I'd lost. When you tidy up in a workshop, you find things that you haven't seen for weeks, sometimes months. And then the next day, you realise that you've lost half a dozen other things. So the model, moral is... Never tidy up in a workshop. Quite slow at warming up this. I'm just putting a dash of leaded on. Sorry, probably didn't focus very well. Right. Are you ready to see how organized my capacitors are? Are you ready? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Well, that took me ages. Well, it took me two minutes, which is ages. I haven't got a thousand microfarad 35 volt. I had loads of thousand microfarad 25 volts, but I never go under. Um, so I've got a thousand microfarad 50 volts. So maybe, maybe.
Maybe it's just this one capacitor. I somehow doubt it. I'm thinking this is going to be one of the jobs I'm finishing off tomorrow. Um, it's quite late at night and the snooker shootout is on. So I'm going to watch that. Uh, then maybe tomorrow we'll have to... If I have to continue tomorrow, I'll have to get the ESR meter out and see if there are any other caps. Which I can't believe I'm doing this without my gloves on. How lazy am I? There's a box of gloves just here. It's too late now, but what I have got is lots of that. There is a chance that this will do it. There's also a chance that it'll go pop. Goes the weasel. And then if it doesn't fire up tonight, I will um, have to go checking for all the voltages and then go on the main board and have a look. But again, in my opinion, these are still nice TVs when they work. Okay. I'm going to switch it off at the side. Was it just one capacitor? Uh, it could be just that capacitor because that's been changed before. That's been changed before. Um, that's been changed. So a few of them have been changed. The regular suspects, normally on the 5 volt line, they go. They're the first to go. And then around here. But anyway. Maybe, just maybe. Bing. Um, I don't know what you can see. Probably not a lot. There. That helps, doesn't it? And if I switch the light off. So we're looking for... The light to go blue. Well, it went blue before, but just not blue enough to turn the screen on. Well, it's gone red, as you can see. Now it's gone blue. Is it going to stay blue or is it going to go off like before? Seems to have stayed blue for a bit longer. Is the screen going to go blue? It is. It looks very dark. I think it's just at the angle. So it was just that. Well, okay. Um, there's a good argument now for saying I should give this a jolly good clean. If it was dust, I would. But that is tobacco. I'm not touching it. Sorry. If that makes me a bad person. Mm. 
Oh, I was going to find another screw for the power board, wasn't I? Because somebody had left one out. Sorry, well, I've just put another screw in there. And again, for your delectation and for your delight, there's the back cover. I'm so tempted to really clean it. If it wasn't, for, it was late at night, because it needs to go outside to be cleaned. That really needs a good job. Maybe I should leave it outside in the rain <laughs> overnight. That may help. Yuck. Yucky, yucky, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Click. Wow. Well. We're all different, aren't we? Probably just turned it off. There it is. With my Vestel remote. Sorry, you're completely out of focus. I don't know if that makes it focus more. Seems to. Does that make it go out of focus? Oh. Hmm. How bizarre. Anyway, just a capacitor gone on the board. I won't bother plugging this into a HDMI source. Um, I think the less my hands come into contact with it, um, but it's an LCD screen just in case your, it's got touch sensitive buttons on the front. All televisions got an LCD screen unless you've gone posh and gone all QLED and OLED and that sort of stuff. Um, but this, the difference is the way it's backlit. Modern sets at the moment are backlit or edge lit with LEDs. This is still old-fashioned uh, CFFL tubes in the back, some fluorescent tubes. Still doesn't seem very bright. I, um, I'm just going to... Yeah, brightness is not massive on this. I can turn it up a bit, I think. Well, that's made no blooming difference whatsoever. It's unnatural. Why don't we do what everybody does and switch it to dynamic? Which, again, has not made much difference. It is probably just the angle I'm looking at it because it's, um, it's on its back. But just one capacitor, one 35-volt, 1,000 microfarad 
Uh, I've got it working this time, but it has had some capacitors, uh, capacitors changed before. But it's a cheap fix. It's worth spending a few quid just to keep it going. Because when they're clean and tidy, and this could be made clean and tidy, I know it's a good argument to say that I should put my gloves on and clean it out for the customer, but I'm, the job is not to clean it for the customer, but then again the customer will never get the chance to take the back off it and and do it. So I don't know. I don't know whether it's my job to do it or not. Definitely not going to do it tonight. That's it as far as tonight's concerned, folks. Off to watch the snooker. Uh, but just a different job. Have a wonderful evening.